all right so i'm in birmingham alabama picking up they say steel trust but yeah that's what this is it's dropping off at like an intersection of a highway or something i'm not sure i'll figure it out tomorrow when i drop off right now i'm following this guy he wants me to pull up and in and around there all right make sure my tail don't hit shit See what we got going on over here so i'm just chilling up here on my step looks like i got a bunch of random stuff uh those l brackets and those l brackets are going up on the stop top deck and i think they got some other stuff going on the the bottom step but right now they're just putting spacers up so they can set it on all right gotta go I know I'm sorry but I, I, I'm, not, I'm gonna leave them alone but it'd be a lot easier if they lifted it up higher so they don't have to bend down and pick them up but it is what it is work smarter not harder man it rained all last night so it's humid hot humid as fuck um they're still trying to get all this situated I got these tightened down. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to strap them barrels down, but I'll have to figure it out. I think they might be putting uh, one more layer on top of there, but I'm not sure. But yeah, they are putting another layer because they're getting some more, uh, some more spacers to put up there. Um, they weren't thinking of putting this pallet wait a second that pallet's not gonna fit up there with those those boards like that with you know remember he was gonna put those pallets up there or that pallet up there it's not gonna fit now but anyways yeah they're gonna uh he was gonna put this pallet up but it's real rickety so he's gonna rewrap it in plastic and uh maybe get some maybe get some tighter bands or something i don't know And there's a fucking train track right behind us. Oh, got her all buttoned up. I put that yellow strap, that little yellow strap around before they did the plastics. So that should be good. Barrels, I hate fucking doing barrels. So I got one over the top. And just to prevent the top one from sliding, I got one wrapped around the top. Hopefully that does the trick. And back here, I got these done in a manner to where it's taking advantage of them posts up there if you can see i got the straps going out and around the post so hopefully they don't slide back and forth i know this is not that long of a run but still i'm kind of sometimes i'm over precarious over cautious there you go and uh Yeah, sometimes I'm overcautious and I think that, oh no, this is not going to work. But then I was like, fuck it and go with it. And turns out it's perfectly fine. So, as you can see, the top strap's held on by that. That lateral strap, I strapped the piss out of it. So, yeah. Everything is tight and secure. 
I guess I'm ready to head on down the road. I think it's like 700 something miles somewhere in Virginia. This place doesn't give me any kind of a uh, address or nothing. It's pretty much just, uh, hey man, meet me on the side of the road and and I'll get the shit off. It's kind of like the last load. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a construction dump yard where they store all this stuff before it actually goes to site. So I guess I'm ready to roll. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Bridges are smooth. feel like I'm driving a freight liner. I'm on the 59 North, just north of Birmingham. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I kind of do. There's no address on the uh, paperwork as I described earlier and I talked to the guy and he shared a pin that he dropped on a map for me and said that it's in the median and to be in the left lane and prepared to jump into the median. So, yeah, it's a side of the highway delivery. Uh, this road kind of mellowed out a little bit. toasty out there my head is burning because I wasn't wearing a hat it's my my fault but still yeah he's already asking me for an ETA it's like dude I'm three states away I'm like almost 800 miles away 750 or so like how do you expect me to give you an accurate ETA I can tell you it'll be tomorrow. I can tell you it'll probably be afternoon. But other than that, I'll get a hold of you in the morning with an accurate ETA. So. Anyways. I'm going to bounce up and down the highway for as long as it keeps bouncing and is that him responding to me yep you can sleep at the location if you like dude that's over i, I can't I... he doesn't get what i'm saying i'm gonna have to text him back and explain to him like <laughs> I can't make it to the location I gotta sleep between here and there but anyways she figured I'd get on here and have a little micro rant and you better recognize that I'm here I'm be trying to jump over thank you alright As you can see it's dark i'm usually shut down by now but i did some pushing tonight i'm at a rest area so i know that i can do my tight 10 without without getting distracted by running in the store and getting this that and the other and i can just wake up and run um those pipes got a little bent but like what can i do they're on the edge they should have they should have put them in between if they didn't want that to happen. I mean, I, I gotta, I gotta cinch this shit down because it's a whole bunch of little pieces. So, but anyways, I pushed as far as I could today. I got 400 and something miles through tomorrow, and they want it there tomorrow afternoon. Um, I saw the rate con on this. This is a pretty good run. It was 740 miles for 3,650 dollars. That's just under five dollars a mile so this truck stop is tight damn near all the stuff 
all the trucks on the on, on the right hand side they're all like parked sticking out in the back and i kind of am too but i'm really long but uh but either way i got uh just under six more hours to go it's nine o'clock now um which means tight 10 i'll be able to run it like 7 a.m plus my pre-trip let's just say quarter after seven uh so eight nine ten eleven twelve one let's just say 132 is when i hope to be there i want to make sure i'm not sticking out this guy might have some trouble getting out i don't know i'm not really sticking out too bad but yeah i'm doing this just so i can get it done in time dispatcher says that he's going to try to get me something going to the house so i could take another fucking reset at the house which would be cool do some more riding uh so yeah that's what it is now it's time to throw some food in my belly and lay my head down i hate tight tens man because it takes an hour to wind down after being alert driving and then in the morning it takes an hour or so to get up and motivated which leaves you right at eight seven and a half eight hours to run i hate tight tens i prefer 12s but anyways good night guys that's what it looks like i have all right i'm up here close to destination uh my gps says 14 more miles but uh i think the pin i dropped would be on the other side of the freeway and i don't know if i'm supposed to turn around or what's going on um The only thing remarkably equivalent to what, or I'm sorry, remotely equivalent to what I am hauling would be stuff for like these signs here. majority of the construction is behind me but I'm going to this uh, what they call a lay down yard and actually that looks similar but not really to what I have it looks like in between it looks like that is some of what I have and therefore the signs like that sign would be up overhead on all that stuff According to the pin he dropped me, I'm still good. It's up the road. But I am not sure where. I guess, like I said, when I get there, it's a laydown yard. So I'm assuming that's where they receive all the pieces before they take the specific pieces to the specific places they need to be. So I'm assuming, hoping, or whatnot, that uh, when I get to where the pin is, it'll be obvious where I need to be. But either way, this construction has gone on past 15, 20 miles, or uh, I don't know if I'm exaggerating or not, but it's been quite some distance. Um, I'm coming up on the pin, so I'll keep y'all around for a little bit. I've never like pulled into median construction before so of course just like last video I never had a dude drive a piece of equipment off the side of my trailer <laughs> but let's see here this left lane has the HOV triangle so I don't want to jump over there until 
I know that I'm supposed to be over there. So those pieces that I have looks like those upright pieces on there where the banners are attached to. I shipped it too early. Like these, these up here is what it looks like I might have. I really don't know what's going on. And with this traffic, even though that lane is probably not the one I'm supposed to, I'm gonna jump over here anyways. Just so I'm already in. Because it looks like I don't have that far much further to go. There's a bunch of these pieces overhead in this bridge. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to bypass this one because looks like the pin that he dropped me is a little bit further down but should I drive up there it looks like there's I could have gone up here like uh, but like I said this is the pin that he showed me which is right where that flag is on my uh, GPS Man, that bridge back there looked like it was it, but the pins up here. There's an opening right there behind that piece of equipment, and there it looks like it has stuff. So, yes, I'm going to be the asshole and jump over to this exit here. And turn around, because it like... all that stuff is on the other side This exit that I'm supposed to take is closed. Wonderful. So yeah, I'm pretty confident that 
that's it back there. So I turn myself around and that truck is in my lane. I turn myself around and I need to get to where I can whip up into this uh, place that I was talking about. I'm gonna get in this lane and this HOV lane apparently. And is this it? Okay, there's the, the start of all that equipment or all the, the drop yard area. Now let's see if I can't get up in there. Yeah, because this has got to be lay down area thing. Hit me hazards. So I'm in here. I wonder if I should go back to those guys. No, there's a truck coming in right behind me. All right, I'm gonna get off here and try to get some people, try to figure out what's going on. So, as it turns out, that bridge with all the stuff on it is where I was supposed to be. Um, I just talked to the actual offloader guy and apparently he's going to send a, uh, a white box truck and stuff that was going to direct me. I'm going to follow him to uh, where I need to go to get up, uh, up, up on that bridge. So. So, yeah, I sit, I wait. I sit, I wait, and I get back with y'all whenever I'm getting there. Well, my guide has arrived. That's absolutely no fun. I think the only way I got out is this truck might need to go in or he saw me coming or something or other. So yeah, I'm following this guy. And he wants me to get over.
<laughs> that was fun, not really. Uh. Are you serious? My guide. Come on, my guide. I'm just going to push my motherfucking way. Go, 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 dumbass. They're gonna do so great pulling it off like that because is he trying to talk to me? They're not banded that way. Be much better with a forklift. But hey, you know what do I know? I'm just a driver. This is definitely a first. I mean, they should have put, they should have attached that bitch. Well, it's forks aren't long enough, but they getting it figured out. So I'm gonna leave them be, let them do their thing. This one may not buckle because it's got the uh, L shape uprights. But that being said, the weight will be on one side. Ooh, uh, I, I guess they know what they're doing, man. Actually, the pallet will help. It's up. I really don't have much communication. The dude driving is kind of being a pest to the workers, but whatever. So once they get uh, those barrels off, I'll be good to go. I mean, they don't have a forklift. I wonder how they're gonna get them off. Oh, there's a forklift ready and waiting. All right, well. I guess it's a closed case. 
it is said and done for i've already got all my straps put away except for the one that was pinned between the pallet and those pieces and that lift is not picking those barrels up huh i wonder how they're gonna do that Well, I guess that answers that question. I wonder if they're just going to go around the pallet or how that's going to work. She is coming down pretty far. Yep, they're just going to go through the pallet like that. Huh interesting well i'm gonna get this guy's paperwork so the second he offloads this last pallet i can get the hell out of here ah. that being said i'll catch y'all on the next run